16 days, Cassie. I know. Jeez. It's pretty wild. Yeah, it is crazy, huh? It yeah. It's so fast. I know. Um, but it's really nice. I love all the decorations downtown. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it so beautiful. It is fun seeing that, yeah. Uh, and it actually is kind of nice outside right now. We have some sunshine. We do have some clouds out there, but they're high clouds. So it's just kind of filtering that sun a little bit. And temperatures are a little on the cool side because we do have that northeast wind. But you can see that much thicker cloud cover in the southwest. And that's moving in out of Texas. And it's going to continue to be the trend as we go throughout the rest of the day today, but it's going to be slow to get here. So most of this afternoon is going to be completely dry. Rain will hold off until later this evening. This is our Enid camera, but over Pike Pass Sky Chem Network, you can see the partly sunny skies. We're at 51 degrees with a north northeast wind right now at 10 miles an hour. Temperatures to the north are only in the mid 40s, while upper 40s and low 50s across central Oklahoma, lots of upper 50s and low 60s across the south. Again, with that northeast wind between about 5 to 15, gusts as high as around. 20 miles an hour there in southwest Oklahoma. So this front, it's actually well to the south. We have this next wave, though, coming in from the south and west out of Mexico, and that's going to help to stream in some more moisture with the rain likely beginning later this evening in parts of southwest Oklahoma and then making its way across the state from southwest to the northeast late this evening and overnight. I think by about 8, 9 o'clock or so, we should at least have some showers moving into the metro and then overnight tonight, scattered showers. During the morning tomorrow, we're still expecting some areas of light to moderate rain. But some of the latest data trying to keep some light rain or drizzle around all the way through about early tomorrow afternoon. Now, in parts of eastern and southeast Oklahoma, it's easily going to last all the way through tomorrow afternoon into the evening. But as far as the metro is concerned, we're really going to be very close to that line of if it's going to be light rain or if it will eventually come to an end by later in the afternoon. So definitely expecting some rain. How much are we expecting? A decent amount, especially in parts of central, eastern, northeast Oklahoma. I think eastern Oklahoma will have the highest chance of seeing maybe around an inch or so. Certainly not expecting that here in Oklahoma City. And then the rest of the weekend looks dry. Sunday looks dry and cool, but now we're going to be focusing on what is taking place Monday night and into Tuesday morning. And right now, the setup is certainly there that we're expecting some showers and storms to move in as early as about Monday. Monday evening. And then during the overnight hours, the potential of the storms will continue to increase. And right now, there is that potential of us seeing some severe weather with all severe weather modes possible, really across much of the state with large hail, damaging wind, and an isolated tornado or two cannot be rolled out with this particular storm system. And again, this includes the entire state, but we're going to be able to fine tune this as we get just a little bit closer. Again, that storm has not moved into the United States just yet. It's going to take some time. But today, looking for a high of about 55 degrees. We should eventually hit the low to mid 50s across the north, upper 50s and low 60s across the south with about 70 degrees possible down there around Idabel. This evening, eventually, again, probably after about 8 or 9 o'clock, it's a 100% chance that the rain and storms, possibly just a few thunderstorms, not expecting any severe weather this evening or overnight tonight by any means, but maybe a couple rumbles of thunder from the southwest to the northeast and then overnight tonight that's just going to continue to stream into parts of northeast Oklahoma. Tomorrow morning I still think we're going to have some light rain around and eventually everything will push into the far southeast. Tonight though temperatures only dropping down into the mid 40s low 40s across the north kind of hanging on to the 50s and 60s across the south during the day tomorrow we're still going to have a north wind this time picking up a little bit between 10 to 20 miles now we're with a high of about 50 degrees mid 40s across the north still holding on to the 50s and 60s across the south tomorrow afternoon I'm still keeping at least a chance for some light rain around central Oklahoma but it's almost guaranteed that we're still going to have some rain across southern Oklahoma during that time tomorrow evening I think it's going to be just to the south and east of Oklahoma City. We should be dry, but I think we're going to keep some cloud cover around with rain still likely across southeast Oklahoma. By Sunday afternoon, dry, seasonally cool. We're still going to have some cloud cover around, but temperatures in the low 50s, mid and upper 50s across the west and mid and upper 50s across the far east as well. But by Monday during the day, I think there's just going to be a slight chance of rain and storms, but the bigger wave, the stronger wave is not going to arrive until probably later in the evening and in to Monday night with storms still possible Tuesday morning. But the weather team, we've been all over. We've been talking to our trackers and we're gearing up for it.